Hello everyone, so my name is Khalid Kopani and in this video we're gonna learn about Flexbox, what Flexbox really is and how we can use the properties of Flexbox. So, Flexbox is a one-dimensional layout model that provides a method to offer space distribution. Before Flexbox we aligned elements using floats and tables, but now Flexbox has made much easier life for the people that use CSS. So, um, this is the HTML and this is the CSS. I've just um, put in the heights of the items, item 1, 100 pixel, item 2, 200 pixels, and item 3, 300 pixels. And now, to create a Flexbox container, we need just to write display flex. So as you can see, if I delete this and save it, um, my items are on columns and every item has its own size that I've just um, shown you and if I just type display and flex here you can see that they change um, the items are all in the same size and if I shrink or make the browser bigger the items go bigger or uh, smaller depending on the browsers um, depending on the browsers size so before we get started we need to understand the concept of main axis and cross axis inside of the flexbox container the difference depending if it's a row or a column So, in the first example, we have uh, the flex is a row and the horizontal axis is going to be the main axis. Um, and in the other hand, the cross axis is going to be vertical. And uh, in the other example, the flex direction is column, so the main axis is vertical and the cross axis is going to be um horizontal the first property we're going to use is justify content so justify content uh, property is used to style the main axis elements so if you want the elements um, for example to center now they are centered horizontally in the browser, um, if you want the elements to have uh, the exact um, space between them, we use space between. And as you can see, they have um, the exact same space between them. And if we want to have even space outside the items and not just in between, we use space around. And now, as you can see, we have the exact same, same space here and here in the end, and the exact same space between the items. So you might ask how we can center the items with the height we have chosen for them. Well, we'll th that will be possible with the align items uh, pro properties. So the align items um, help us to lay out things on the cross axis. The default is stretch because um, the items stretch to fill the most amount of the space but um, the one that we are in interested in is center as you can see they are centered in uh, the cross axis um, so align item center is one of the most important things that you can do with flex flexbox um, before Flexbox, aligning items vertically was nearly impossible, and now this is um, just so easy. Uh, another thing we can do is Flex Start. Sorry, Flex Start. 
and with that um the items um, uh, the items align themselves at the very top but if we want to align items at the end we use flex end and as you can see they have we, they are aligned um, at the bottom so if we don't want uh, the items just to shrink or to grow bigger we can also use uh, another type of um, wrap let's say it flex wrap and um, wrap and now um, the items will wrap to different um, lines instead of shrinking If we want to change the layout from row to columns, flex direction property will help us. Let's uh, just type here column. And as you can see, the items are aligned in columns. And if we want to use justify content to center them, um, they are centered but we don't see a huge difference because they are centered vertically if we want to see a huge difference we can just for example change the height um, let's say 700 pixels and now we can see that there there is the same um, space here at the top and at the bottom um, but we also can use align items, center, and now the items are all centered on um, the browser. So the container is mostly about the spaces between the items as well as the positioning of those items. But the items are meant to override those positioning. And now we can uh, just use some properties on those items the first one is flex shrink where we can prevent sh shrink shrinking when uh, changing the browser's um, size let's say we want flex shrink on the first items and as you can see the item doesn't change uh, when we change the browser's size um, now let's say we want the item 3 to grow we can use um, flex grow here and let's say by 1 and as you can see item 3 um, has just grown by 1 um, and if we want item 2 to grow by 2 we can just type here flex grow and then um, let's say 2 as you can see item 2 and item 3 both grow and item 2 doesn't grow um, twice as big as item 3 because the remaining space in the initial condition um, is being divided by all the flex grows. If we want to tell our flex box where to start growing, we just need to use flex basis. We just let them start from zero. And now item 2 is exactly twice twice as big as item 3. Um, another property we can uh, now learn is align self. Um, let's say that we want item 2 to be um, in the center. We should just use align self and then center. 
and as you can see now item 2 is um, exactly on the center here and now um, the last property we're gonna use is order we can change the order of the items let's say that we want item 1 to be item 3 in um, the place of item 3 item 2 to be on uh, the place of item 1 and item 3 to be item 2 and now as you can see item 2 is item 1 item 3 is item 2 and item 1 is item 3 so to do a recap flex grow flex shrink uh, justify content that, and align items all these are very important properties that you need to learn to create dynamic and complex layouts um, of course you are going to learn new properties on the future i hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new about flexbox and if you guys enjoyed the video please give us a like down below. Goodbye.